Do you want to talk the entire way home? About what, Harley? About whatever comes up. Okay, we'll try nothing. This day has been so long. It has been a complete nightmare. The only thing I want to do on the way home is sleep, okay? I understand. And fortunately for you, you will have plenty of time for sleeping and talking. Because we're taking the long way home. The scenic route. We're taking the scenic route home. Great. You want to pick my brain, too? You've had a rough day, Lizzie. <laughs> oh, no. Try the worst. And you don't want to talk about it? Not even a little bit? No. Maybe you should ride home with your mom and Lillian. That'll be fun for you. <laughs> and I thought you cared about me. Or at least you didn't hate me. Honey, I don't hate you. I love you. And I'm not your stepmother anymore. But I still feel responsible for you. Come on. You want to interrogate me? I want to understand you. I want to help you. All this stuff that's been going on for the past few weeks, it's coming to a head for you now. And I think you feel trapped, like you have nowhere to turn. So your head is coming up with all these solutions that aren't really solutions now, are they? Am I anywhere in the ballpark? Right, you don't want to talk about it. Well, from where I sit, that's just tough. So what time did you, your mom, and your grandma get to the cabin? Was it a shouting match the whole time, or was there a point where you thought you were making some progress? Don't break a sweat or anything over there. Lizzie, you know, you're not alone, and you're not crazy. That's reassuring. I mean, any kid your age would feel threatened with another sibling coming on. I'm not a kid, okay? Especially when the mother's someone you don't even like. I don't care about Olivia. I mean, it's not the baby's fault. I wouldn't blame it on the baby. That's not your fault, either. You are entitled to your feelings. <laughs> feelings? Oh, what, you haven't heard? I don't have any feelings. Of course you do. No, not according to my dad. Did he ever once say, Lizzie, you know, you're gonna have a new little baby sister. Is that okay? I mean... You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. Well, that had to hurt. No, actually, I just thought it was rude, that's all. I mean, it's his problem, not mine. I'm fine with it now. Hey, that was our turn. Harley, do you hear me? That was our turn. I heard you. I told you the scenic route. There'll be other turns. I know what you think. You think that I had something to do with Olivia falling down those stairs. Well, I didn't. Okay? Okay. I mean, I'm just letting you know for the record that... I would never hurt an innocent baby. Or Olivia. Okay. I mean, when I saw that the carpet was torn, I told Olivia that she needed to get it repaired because I didn't want her to get hurt. I mean, if I did, I wouldn't have told her that, right? Right? Right. I mean, when I saw her coming down those steps, I saw that it was torn again, and I called out to her to warn her. I mean, that's just normal. You don't believe me. <laughs> Great. Why won't anyone believe me? People. You were there when I was sick, when I almost died. I thought I could count on you. You can. Yeah, but all of a sudden you don't believe me when it comes to Olivia now. Well, I'll believe you when you tell me the truth. I'm telling you the truth. How can I believe that when you've lied about so much else, Lizzie? Like what? Like you didn't send, send Ben up to the cabin after Marina. 
even though the DA has a map with your handwriting on it that proves otherwise. Like you're not furious with your father for getting Olivia pregnant. Like you don't hate Olivia's guts when anybody with eyes can see you do. So what are you saying? I'm saying that you deny things, Lizzie. You deny and you deny and you deny until it's like the boy who cried wolf. You know, and you want people to believe you, but of course they're going to doubt you. So you, you need to open up. You need to tell us what has happened so that we can trust you. You, you need to be honest. Okay. Honestly, I wish everyone would leave me the hell alone. Well, after today, the likelihood of that is pretty slim. What do you mean, after today? You tried to kill yourself, Lizzie. That's not something your family can just ignore. They can't just sweep that under the rug, no. They are going to have to take action now. They are gonna have to get you some serious help. What do you mean my family's gonna have to take action now? Well, honey, you haven't left them any choice when you held that glass to your wrist. I, I mean, you forced their hand. You know, they can't risk you trying to hurt yourself again. So? <laughs> so what? I don't understand this, Harley. You're gonna have to explain it to me. Okay, after what you did today, if you keep denying that anything is wrong, they are gonna have to get you some help. Why? I already have help. I see Felicia. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, more intensive than that. And, and away from home, obviously. An institution? Well, there, there are several good ones nearby, small ones that are geared to kids your age, really. Oh, so that's what's gonna happen when I go home? They're just gonna send me out to some loony bin again? Well, they won't have to if you start to tell the truth. No, I can't, Harley. I won't. Okay. Start uh, the car. Okay, let go of the wheel. Pull the car Lizzie, over. Lizzie, let go of the wheel. Let go of the... You can't do this to me, Harley. Oh, really? Watch me. No, I gotta get out of here. Someone help me. Someone help you? All we've been trying to do is help you. You keep pushing us away. Oh, yeah, some help. Kidnapping me, threatening to send me out to some bunny camp? I don't need that kind of help. So you try to drive us off the road? I wouldn't have driven us off the road. I didn't do anything. I want out of here! They're child locks. I'm not a child. Then stop acting like one. Don't touch me. I mean it, Harley, don't. See, I thought we had an understanding. Oh, baby, you had an understanding, but we didn't have anything. Whoa, wait a second. Take a breath. We're gonna chill out, out here, and then we are going inside. I'm not going in there, no. I'm not gonna let you guys send me off, Harley. I'm not the crazy one, though. You guys are the nut jobs, not... I've had about enough of this from you, okay? Let's go. Ow! Oh, go. Hey, go on okay. me! Okay, you wanna play hardball? Let's play. Well, come on, Harley. You act like you're surprised. I mean, you were married to my dad. You know they always have these conversations. Can you please let me out of these things? You do have the key, right? And why do you have a pair of these anyway? They're a souvenir from the force. Oh. You're not gonna run, are you? No, you have my word. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I promise I won't run. Please. All right. Listen, why don't we just hang out out here for a minute until things, you know, cool down a little bit. <laughs> Hell never freezes over, Harley. It definitely won't cool down. Don't you watch your mouth, little girl? Okay. Those people in there love you very much. Yeah, so much they're ready to just ship me off to the loony bin. Maybe they just have a different idea of what's best for you. But they're not pulling out their hair in there for nothing. It's for you, Lizzie. Every, this whole, this whole thing is for you. No, it's not. It's about them and their own stupid agendas. I'm just their little topic du jour. Whoa. No, you heard them. Don't they, make me cuff you again. They are going to ship me off, Harley. You heard them. Shh. Listen. Listen. You're going to calm down. You're going to chill out. 
And then we are going in there. No, I am not going in there. Gosh, this is not a multiple choice. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, everyone. 